A new section in the book is on special considerations uh, for submitting grants addressing uh, specific types of research. Can you tell us more about these special considerations? Sure. In any kind of research or research training grant or even a grant for uh, proposing a particular conference, uh, there are very common elements that need to be addressed and considered by um, the faculty member, the researcher, the, the grant writer. Uh, for example, being concise and clear, using non-technical language, uh, making sure that every sentence uh, is to point um, grant writing isn't a time, for example, for um, experimenting with one's uh, prose or flowery language. So grant writing is a very um, a to the point technical way of writing. Uh, and so those kinds of principles apply to any kind of grant that a person is, is writing. Certainly adhering to the instructions that are provided by the uh, grantor uh, or the agency that that has a call for proposals, th that's critical. Having said that, there are certain uh, kinds of uh, research uh, proposals uh, that require um, uh, additional considerations and thought. For example, a new thrust uh, in research uh, in the last five years has been to consider ways to work as a team, to form a scientific team in order to advance a research project that tackles a complex problem. So the whole world of team science, for example, has now emerged as a very critical way of conducting research. So team science means that you have to very carefully consider who is on your team and what their specific role is. So when you're proposing a grant, that's complex, trying to tackle a complex problem, uh, illustrating uh, the way in which you have the uh, resources, intellectual resource, resources in your environment are very critical. Or for example, another special consideration arises if you're proposing to develop and or test a, an intervention to make a difference in um, the public health of a particular targeted audience. So intervention uh, it grants, which may propose testing using a randomized controlled trial, have pretty uh, important um, uh, types of information that must be included. So in testing an intervention, for example, using a randomized trial, it's critical to test, to uh, describe the, what I would call the delivery characteristics of the intervention and be highly specific about uh, the components of the intervention. It's a uh, theoretical base, who is going to deliver the intervention, uh, the dose and intensity of the intervention, the content of sessions. Uh, so in writing the grant, that level of specificity for an intervention uh, trial is very important, uh, as well as including a treatment manual in the appendix. So these are just some examples of how what you propose may require special kinds of considerations when you're writing a grant application.